Hi, and welcome to one of our training videos on the basics of social work. I am Professor Mike Veyers from the Northwest University, Potchfstroom, South Africa. Today we will be looking at the scientific foundations of social work. To set the scene, after the introductory lecture at the beginning of the training of a new cohort of social work students, one student, let's call her Amy, approached the professor with a difficult question. I will let them take it from here. Good morning, Professor. You said this morning that we will be covering the scientific foundations of social work in our training, not only in this module, but also in all the other modules of our social work course. Now, I am a bit confused. Well, before I came to university, I read on the web page of the National Association of Social Workers that social work is the professional activity of helping individuals, groups, or communities enhance or restore their capacity for social functioning. Does this focus on professional activities only apply to the USA? Or to our country also? Morning Amy. A very interesting question. The basic answer is yes. It applies to both the USA, and to us. But also, to all countries around the globe where social work is practiced. The focus on activities is, however, only part of the story. The global definition of the social work profession state that these activities are underpinned by theories of social work, social sciences, humanities, and indigenous knowledge. So, a social worker's actions are not based on gut feeling, but on scientifically grounded knowledge. So, Professor, when I have mastered all the knowledge, will I be ready to practice social work? No, not really. You must also have mastered the skills or competencies to apply this knowledge in practice. And let the social work values guide your actions. Wow, that sounds difficult. I have heard of competencies and values in one of our other classes, but I am still not sure what the knowledge base of social work is all about. The global definition makes it sound so comprehensive and complicated. Is it? Oh yes, it is comprehensive. That is why it takes four years of education and training to master it all. Understanding where all the knowledge components fits into the bigger picture is not, however, all that complicated. I so happen to have a few PowerPoint slides with me that will explain it. This framework is based on books by Pamela Trevi Thick and Schieffer and others. I will use it as a basis for a very basic and broad overview of the scientific foundations of social work. The foundation can be divided into three basic knowledge components. These are 1. Theoretical knowledge, or theory. 2. Factual knowledge. And 3. Practice knowledge. A theory is basically a group of related hypotheses, concepts, and constructs, based on facts and observations, that attempts to explain a particular phenomenon. We use these theories in social work to predict, explain and assess situations and behaviors. But Professor, I have scanned through all of our new textbooks and looked in the library at others and there seems to be pages upon pages of different theories. Where do one begin to choose an appropriate one? Hold on, don't panic. You will be provided with the appropriate theories when you cover the social work methods and fields of practice, during your training. You will see that the theories are derived from three primary sources, these are 1. Practice theories 2. Theories regarding social work roles and tasks. And 3. Adapted theories. Practice theories cover uniquely social work approaches, skills, interventions, fields of practice, and perspectives such as the strengths perspective and the development paradigm. These are the theories that help us to understand or to explain practice. 
Theories regarding roles and tasks basically cover all the functions that social workers will have to perform. The third category encompass those theories that have been developed by other disciplines, but that social workers have adapted and applied in our own practice. These theories come from fields such as psychology, sociology, law, social policy, organizational theory, politics, economics, medicine, and philosophy. They help us understand people, situations and events. Thank you, Professor. I think understand the theories part, a bit better now, but, what is meant by factual knowledge? The factual knowledge covers all the knowledge we require to function effectively as a social worker in a given practice setting. It could include knowledge of the legal system and laws the social policies that governs practice, and the nature and services of the agency that employs us. We must, of course, also know the biopsychosocial, cultural and economic dimensions of the individuals, groups and communities we will be working with, as well as the nature of the problems or challenges that they are facing. Aha Professor! Now I understand why social work isn't just classroom training and why we must undergo work-based learning and do field work placements. What is the third component, practice knowledge, all about? This knowledge can be divided into two subcategories, namely 1. Knowledge of the social work profession itself, and 2. Knowledge of social work practice. The knowledge of the social work profession covers its systematic body of knowledge and specialized skills, its regulatory code of ethics and the statutory body that enforces it, its professional culture, and its service ethic and commitment. Social workers must not only know the narrow ambits of their own practice setting, but also the broad field of social work practice. These include specializations such as clinical, forensic, school, and occupational social work, to mention only a few. All in all, even though you might practice in one setting, you must know all the others in order to ensure that an appropriate and holistic service is rendered to client systems. Wow, it sounds so exciting. When can I start specializing? Amy, hold your horses, not so quick. You must first master the basic theoretical, factual, and practice knowledge, before you can move on to a specialization. See you next week when we start looking more deeply into the scientific foundations of social work. I think you will find it interesting, and somewhat challenging. Good luck with your training.